conditions. Now, who should decide when a new housing estate is built? Where can a school be set up? It's an issue the Conservatives have been looking at and the Politics Show seen a copy of their ideas for planning policy in England and they're due to be published uh, later this month. Now, the mantra has been localism, but controversially we reveal how the Tories want to bypass local councils and cut them out of planning decisions for new schools, as Paola Buonadonna explains. This development in Hampshire will provide 400 new homes, a fraction of the 3 million the government says we need. Currently, targets are decided at a national and regional level and imposed on local communities. But according to the Conservatives, the system isn't working. We are building fewer houses uh, per year uh, under this targets regime than happened at any year under the previous Conservative government without the targets, and we're building fewer affordable houses each year. Their solution, in a policy paper due to be published this month, is localism, putting local communities in the driving seat on planning decisions. So, an end to central diktat, well, not in every area. The politics show has seen that policy paper, and we can reveal it contains a surprising contradiction. You see, the Conservatives are keen to allow parents to set up new schools wherever they want. But they're also worried that local authorities might try to sabotage this through the planning system. So, when it comes to schools, planning decisions won't be taken here at the local level, but here. Under current Tory thinking, planning applications to build new schools would go all the way up to the desk of the Education Secretary. So if they win the election, Michael Gove would drive the construction of new schools as if they were a major projects, like an airport or a nuclear power station. Anyone could turn any building into a school without the need to seek planning permission. A quiet office building could become a noisy secondary and there isn't a thing you or your local council could do about it. And when an existing school closes, that land would not be allowed to be used for any other purpose, unless the Secretary of State, yes, him again, says so. This is likely to anger the very local authorities that the Conservatives are reaching out to. But without this power, the party leadership fears that councils will stifle its education revolution. Michael Gove's made it clear that we do want to encourage that. That's a national policy and naturally, therefore, uh, we within the planning uh, side of things want to facilitate that approach uh, and then the best thing is to, to look sensibly at what the details are to be able to help communities and, and parents who want to do that to achieve that. So schools will be built no matter what residents or councillors think. But what about ensuring that commercial or housing developments like this one still go ahead? Well, the Tory watchword here is incentives. Instead of targets, they plan to use good old-fashioned sweeteners. Under the Tory plans, for every home that a local authority allows to be built, it will be given six years' worth of council tax by the government, 25% more if it's an affordable home. That's welcomed by the body that speaks on behalf of property developers, well, up to a point. That's actually quite a good idea in practice, although I think we'd have to look at whether the incentives would be enough. But to counter that, they're going to sweep away regional targets for housing uh, and replace it with local targets. And we're not absolutely convinced that that will lead to the sort of numbers of development that we actually need. Another controversial proposal being considered by the Tories is to allow third parties that is, local people and organisations, the right to appeal against projects that have already been granted planning permission by the local council. The argument sometimes made that it seems a bit uh, one-sided, the current system. That's, that's, that's one, one of the arguments that go into it from one side, that, you know, uh, 
what, what one side of the equation can appeal and the other can't. If the Tory party were to introduce the ability for a third party, unconnected with a planning application, to appeal against a planning application after it's been granted, then I think this would throw the whole system into chaos. It would cause massive delays, it would place burdens on already hard, overworked planners, uh, it would simply slow down development and be costly. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. The Tories say their planning philosophy is to keep it local. But it looks like their education policy has trumped that particular principle.